you have a question? Yes, we're not satisfied with the box, and we're not satisfied with our engine. I kindly stand behind this man, and I think that Ghana is a country where equality, equity, and empowerment should be aligned with the nation. Now, if you show discrimination in a place like this city, then it's not fair. We all went through our, uh, an amount of work and process to be able to qualify. Now, once you are qualified, you cannot put some aside and deal with some first and deal with some later. You cannot tell us that the last one who are independent will now choose out of nine to their two. And if that's what the law is, I'd like to hear you know that from now, the country will prepare for that, that any time we will walk into this place and we are independent candidates, then we're second class citizens. We, we are not saying you are second class citizen. What we are saying is that this has been the convention. This is an administrative telling listing to what you understand. So if a party picks the first position during the second ballot, it means that that party at the level will also be number one on the ballot. If you pick number two, you are going to be number two throughout 276 constituencies. Number four is in, number five is in. And there can be instances where some might not have five, <coughs> sorry, for some specific constituencies. So maybe somebody is number four here, but in a particular constituency, he did not, he, 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 he or she do not have a parliamentary candidate contesting for that political party. There will be that push-up system. In that situation, the one who is number five will be pushed up to be number four, and it will be that order. We, are, we have some political parties that are five for all the constituencies. Others have five in some selected constituencies. So when such a thing happens, and you do not have a candidate in that particular constituency, and you are maybe number four, the number five position, the party with the number five position, I'm sorry, will be pushed up to become number four. And then the push up will affect all those we need. Then again, we have some political parties that are not contesting the presidential election. But they have also have candidates who are filing for the constituency. in the parliamentary elections. In just a situation, after those who are filing the presidential one, for instance, like if, if you have all the view, uh, contesting in the constituency, those political parties will come next before the independent candidates come. So for instance, if a constituency has a PP candidate is there, PPP is not on the presidential ballot. So after all the nine at that constituency, I'm sure they will be number 10, the 10th position. In a case where all the nine political parties who file the presidential election are contesting, they will be number 10. 
then we have more than one or more than one independent candidate. They also ballot for opposition 11 and 12. There are two. Then they two will be there. Where there's only one independent candidate, we will just show up to the position 11. So for now, we are coming to go through the ballot. The ballot for. Candidates like President K.A. before, at number 13, the polls were open. Everybody could pick anything and they can end up at any number. Why is it that right now it's only happening to the nine? Please, 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 just for us to look Please, election president before number 13, which election was that? No, no, please, 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 Independent candidate, it's a I made it clear that the commission, this is something we have, we, we are seven commissioners, only two of us are here. This will be made known to the commission. So currently, the, the This invitation is that we finish with the political parties, then we do the independent. This is a major concern you have raised. And with any kind of collaboration, we'll be more fond of your about the political parties, assuming two parties don't contest the presidential or three, and they are also in the constituencies, they are also going to be balloting. So if in that manner, the same. So please, let's make progress. Thank you very much. Please, we have one to nine written here. For transparency sake and credibility sake, I'm calling upon our administrative officer to sign at the back of each of them. Please take your pen and sign. When you sign, put it aside. <clears throat> Just put it there. 
happening right now at the Electoral Commission is the balloting of positions for the presidential race in the 2024 elections. If you've been watching us from the beginning, I told you that it will also affect the parliamentary positions of candidates who will be on the ballot. Uh, Director of Electoral Services uh, has been explaining how that, you know, the nuances that come with that. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that. But what has caused the delay at the moment is the fact that the independent candidates do not want to be treated, uh, you know, they, they do not want political parties to be prioritized, so to speak, uh, you know, before them, because the EC's internal, you know, decisions they have taken with, with regards to how the balloting will go is that the political parties will pick first, and then the independent candidates will follow. That charge has been led by the New Force Movement and the Movement for Change and as you saw, the presidential candidate for New Force Movement, uh, who is on the ballot as an independent candidate, Nana Kwame Bediakon, has been very, very outspoken about that over there, almost entering a banter uh, with the NPP's um, Evans uh, Nimako, who is also the director of elections uh, there. But we also saw how fiery... Um, Yabwabia Samwa of the Movement for Change was when uh, Hassan Ayarega had attempted to say that uh, it is so because the political parties have structures. It didn't sit down well with the independent candidates. And then we saw the intervention of, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Bosman Asari, also a deputy chair of the Electoral Commission, uh, explaining that Dr. Bayou had already given uh, the, the explanation as to how this, is, this will go and why it is so. What you see there now is another exercise to ensure that the process is free, fair, and transparent. Everybody is at rest as to where they will be on the ballot paper. And uh, we have been told by the Director of Electoral Services that the numbers have been, count, count, uh, you know, have been uh, put on the paper, one to nine. So in the first process, the political parties are going to choose... Uh, you know, in the first process, followed by the independent candidates. And you can understand why it's one to nine, because there are nine political parties and four independent candidates. So when you choose, right after that, well, we see the Nakwame uh, Bediako. Let's find out what's happening. I have no idea. Let's find out what's happening. I'm sorry that we're all here Two, I'm folding. Just make sure that you have to All of them have been seen. The signature doesn't And in fact, that should not be that bad. And all of you are going Why do you allow uh, this man to be such a very baseless address the chair Jerry oh please go <laughs> Who cares whether you are here or not? This, this has always been the format. Jerry, Jerry. Yeah, we yeah, we'll tell him this has been the format. Whether he, he wants to stay or not, this is problem. Please.